The procedure I'm having today is rhinoplasty and the reason why I decided to have it is because I'm very uncomfortable with my nose and I mean it's something that has always bothered me for many years. I'm sure you've all heard of it, you know, growing up, you know, kids being teased and I mean mine was very severe and it really made a big impact in my life. When you're a woman it does affect you more than when you're a guy, I mean looks overall and I think that, um, yeah, this is definitely going to help me a lot. And when I actually got a chance to speak with Dr. Nassif, I mean, he was just completely the sweetest doctor. How are you doing? Good, thank you. And the way he approaches clients, he makes them feel really warm and secure and that they're important, that they're, they actually count, you know, and he's helping them out and he's not just a, a doctor that's just, okay, you know, uh, let's just get the work done. He makes you feel really safe and comfortable. When I first met Erica, I was a little bit unsure of how she was going to react with surgery. And the reason why I'm saying that, she was a little bit teary-eyed and she felt that her nose was really, really a big detriment uh, to her lifestyle. And I also thought she might have had a little bit of depression at the same time. And so I was worried that she might not be realistic. I was worried that I might not be able to achieve um, exactly what she was looking for. So after I felt comfortable that she'd be a good candidate and she knew what she was getting herself into and she had a lot of healing to undergo, then we decided to proceed with the surgery. So yeah, after the surgery I'm gonna feel very confident and good about myself because I, I really strongly dislike my nose and my appearance and it has affected me in many ways, you know, even just meeting people and meeting friends, you know, I've always made up excuses like, you know, uh, turning to the side or not taking pictures, you know, not, it's just like a big relief, you know, that you can be satisfied with the way you look and it's, it's going to feel good and I'm going to feel very happy afterwards. We're just about to start an ethnic rhinoplasty with Erica, and we're gonna start off first by taking a little tissue from her scalp, and we're gonna use that to build her bridge of her nose, and then we're gonna harvest some cartilage from her septum. One of the other procedures that we'll perform when the septum doesn't supply us enough cartilage or when there has already been a previous septoplasty is ear cartilage harvest. Then we're gonna perform an open rhinoplasty and really try to get some of that thick skin control. Finally, we're gonna finish with narrowing her nostrils. And so here we go, let's start. Performing rhinoplasty is a combination of science and art. You have to know different angles of the nose and the different lines and the different aesthetic units of the nose. And that's the scientific part of it. You also have to have a great eye. You have to be somewhat of an artist to look at the nose and say, what looks good? Every doctor is different. Everyone's gonna have a different look that they like of their nose. I like to customize each nose for every patient. I don't make the same cookie cutter nose. I wanna make sure from the functional standpoint that one, the nose is, looks great. At the same time, I want them to be able to breathe better. I really like that. So breathing and having a nice natural look is what I try to achieve in rhinoplasty. It's very important because you have to make sure that you, know, you do something conservative. Because the more aggressive you are, the more damage you can cause with the nose as time goes on. We just finished with Erica's surgery. I think it went fantastic. I think hopefully she'll get exactly what she wanted. I don't think I could have done a better job. And uh, I hope that she really enjoys this and I hope that it helps her throughout her life. Dr. Nassif definitely met my expectations. Right. Having this surgery has changed my everyday life in so many ways, like I'm really happy. I feel better about myself and I'm really outgoing more. I feel like I can go out and, you know, do basic stuff that I didn't do before, like take pictures or like, you know, just do things that I never did or I avoided because of my nose, you know, it's like I just, it was bothered me that much and I'm really happy now. We just finished seeing Erica at six weeks following her rhinoplasty surgery. Um, she appeared very happy. I mean, I'm, I'm thoroughly pleased, I'm ecstatic about her early results, even though she still has a lot more healing to do, but I'm very happy and she's very happy. 
Well, even though I haven't seen my final results yet, I know it's gonna take about a year. I'm already really pleased with what I see. Overall, I love the center. It's not so wide and broad like it was before and how it's a little more narrow. And I really like it how the profile looks. <laughs> so I, I think we've met her goals so far. And one thing too I've noticed with her as compared to when I first met her, she never smiled in the beginning. You can tell she just really wasn't that happy. Now when I see her, even when she's not, you know, addressing me or talking with me, you look at her face, she has a little bit of a natural smile. So I think it has improved her self-confidence. So I'm very happy for her right now. I, I just want to thank you for everything and for the procedure. My pleasure, my pleasure. Thank you. Well, I hope you're happy. I am very yeah. happy. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm very happy. I, I'm extremely excited about this. And I'm just so glad that I had the opportunity to have this surgery. You know, this is something I've wanted for many years of my life. And now that it finally happened, you know, I feel like, yeah, it is a dream come true because it was one of my dreams, you know. And, I'm happy that it's I I got it. I got the procedure and I'm, it's just going to make me feel better and I'm going to be a lot more happier now. This opportunity that I had was extremely amazing. It was such a great experience and it's definitely life changing. I mean, I feel just better about myself and I'm so glad that I chose Dr. Nassif to do my surgery. I'm very pleased with his work. <laughs>